Hey science fans, this is John, your science materials specialist, coming to you from my secret layer in an undisclosed location. And today I am going to show you how to turn a simple Altoids tin into a highly functional phone holder so that you can sign into your phone as a secondary device while you are doing science demonstrations or need a second camera to show things to your students while you are teaching. Now, I've got a couple different ways that I've put this, these together, so I'm gonna show you this red one first, and then we'll go on to my Spearmint Green Altoids tin. Now, I used a drill, uh, a leather punch, uh, leather rivets and a piece of leather to put this together and that's all fine but you don't need all that stuff what you need is your tin uh, a way to make a hole in the top and the side of the bottom and then that might just be that might just be a nail that you drive drive through there um, if you do something like that, even if you're drilling it, you may find that there is some sharp metal sticking out. And you can use a flat, hard object like a, um, I use this angle brackets corner, but you could use a spoon or something even just to push that all down flat so that it is out of your way. And that will prevent you from cutting yourself on any sharp parts. Um, you could try to file it. Uh, it's going to be difficult to get in there, especially on the inside with a file. So um, you may just have to do your best to push that out of the way. And we're going to end up covering that all up anyway. So the way I did it, like I said, was with a piece of leather that I riveted to the inside, top, and bottom. What you could do instead if you do not have all the things that I've used, is you can punch that hole, like I said, um, flatten all that metal, cover both sides with a heavy-duty tape, um, some duct tape, uh, electrical tape even, just a couple layers on both sides so that you've got a nice, um, a nice surface covering up that hole. And the reason we're covering that, uh, that hole is that we are going to take a piece of cord or thread um, string and puncture a very small hole in our, in our tape. Okay, not big enough that you're exposing the metal from the tin, but a small hole that you can feed a needle through with your, you know, with your, with your thread or whatever you're putting through there. Um, tie a knot on both the outside and the inside. Do the same thing on the other hole, at the other hole, a knot on the out inside and the outside. And shoot for about, you know, a 90 degree angle. Whatever angle you end up with is not a big deal. If it's a little tighter, that'll be fine. If it's a little wider, that'll also be fine. Um, what I found though is if I get this to a 90 degree angle, then I can make a piece of wood that just barely fits inside from corner to corner. You could um, take a cheap plastic pen and cut a section of the pen shaft off so that it's that length. There's a lot of different ways that you could do this. Um, what that allows you to do is to stick that in the tin with one end braced in the corner here, and then I can slide the other end into the opposing corner, and now I have a rigid object that not only can sit on a surface, which it could do without that in there. I mean, that's exactly the purpose of the leather or the string or whatever you're using here. You could use a um, strip of um, leather cord here, actually, and again, knotted on both ends, that would be fine. Um, 
but I can hold it like that. Or I can put that brace in there. And now I can put a magnet on here, magnetize it to something. I can find a way to attach a, an angle bracket um, maybe to the top or the side. Um, maybe I even need to attach a second one to that um, or this way. Lots of different things that you can do to modify this tin so that you can attach it to whatever you have available to you. Maybe you're using a binder clip, a large binder clip fits. A large size binder clip fits very nicely on this short side. Um, so that's an option that you could use to clip it to maybe a thin post or um, some thin piece of something that'll hold it at the spot you want it at. Now, we put our pop socket holder on this flat surface of the bottom. The top's got too much texture, so we're gonna put it on the flat surface of the bottom. And depending on where your camera is in relation to your pop socket, okay, depending on where you, so depending on where you put your pop socket on your phone, you know, if you put it very centered or up near the top or whatever, that's gonna determine where you need to put this. And while you are filming, say, your whiteboard over here, um, it probably isn't gonna matter too much, but if you decide that you want to uh, attach a couple, uh, attach a strap to this um, so that you can hold it up against your your body, right, your torso, um, and wear it around your neck, essentially. Um, then it's going to matter where this pop socket is. I'll show you that on the other tin. Um, so, pop socket holder, Altoids tin, um, something to make a strap uh, or a string. Uh, if you need to, a brace of some sort, super low tech, super easy, and then very functional, very versatile for, you know, attaching, to, you know, other items to it to make it uh, sit where you want it. Um, so here's the other one. And again, just an Altoids tin. This time, I took the lid off of the hinge here and probably the best way to use it, do that is with a flathead screwdriver. Um, you just have to get into this opening and lift your hinge up a little bit and then the, hit, uh, the, the top will just slide right out of there. Um, I put it together with a couple of screws, some nice pan head screws, nice big wide flat surface here. I believe these are called truss screws. Um, they're easy to find at uh, Home Depot or Menards. And I can take this back apart if I want to. You'll see that I put my pop socket way off on the end here. I have an iPhone 8. I don't think my pop socket is quite centered, but it is just below the Apple logo on my phone. So if that gives you an idea. Um, what I found is I had to put the pop socket holder way off of the end so that I didn't catch any of this surface while it was in this orientation, filming what's below here. Um, so that's something that you will have to experiment with, with your phone, with your materials to see what you need to do there. Now again, I can attach something to the side, or I can attach it to this surface, or I can put a mag put magnets on there. Um, a lot of different options. I mean, even given that the pop socket holder has some thickness, if I needed to put something on there this direction, I could do that. So versatile little gadget for getting your secondary phone, camera, where you need it to show, like I said, show a whiteboard or maybe suspended over your writing surface or, you know, at some angle to your right, some angle to your writing surface like that so that you can be writing down here and having it display that. Um, on Zoom, it's very easy. You sign into your computer as the host. 
you sign into your phone as yourself as well and you opt to join your on the phone with video only and then you choose not to join with audio because you do not want feedback as the two devices are capturing your voice while you're talking so on your computer you've got video and audio on your phone you have video only so I hope that helps um, as with anything if you have questions about how to how to make this work um, ways to um, make it useful anything related to your science content anything in relation to virtual instruction please 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 let someone at the science team know uh, we are not only incredibly willing but very eager to help you with any troubles that you come across any um, issues at all we want to help you do your very best to provide content to the students.